Hello, this is Frankie from AboutScript.com, and we're going to be looking at the next part of the regular expressions. So, we are going to deal with numbers and also um, how to repeat the numbers. So you can say, I want, I want five numbers, or I want ten numbers, or I want somewhere between like one and thirteen numbers, stuff like that, and. Um, more specifically for this example, we're going to be looking at this health info breach file and we're going to be looking for dates in it. So we're going to use that same script we used last time. It just tells us what we match. Oop. Need to tell it where to look. Okay. So now we're in this file and in the last tutorial we kind of mentioned that um, to do a digit you do a backslash and then a D and if we do that, we get all these individual digits, which isn't what we want when we're trying to find a date. So, um, we want to match, well, what does a date look like? We're going to look in the file, so we're going to get out of this script, and we're going to say more health info breach dot CSV. Alright, so now we're going to look at the start of this file, and you can see here, we have a date, and it's basically a number, and then a slash, and another number, and then we could either have uh, two numbers or four numbers, depending on how the date's written. But it looks like this one is pretty consistently, um, pretty consistently, one or two numbers, and then a slash, and then one or two numbers, and a slash, and then four numbers, and that's what the pattern is you have to find out what the pattern is and then you can try to match it. So we're going to get back into this. So we're going to say one number and how do we say one or two? Well, we put it in these curly brackets here. So we're going to do slash. Alright, now we say one comma two, which means one or two. Alright, and then we're going to have a slash because that divides the date and we're going to do digit again, we're going to do 1, comma 2, and then a slash, and then for the last one, we're going to just say we want four numbers. 1, comma 4. Alright, so um, I think this will work. Let's try it out. No, it's not. So we're going to go back to that last line that we just tried said we wanted a digit, one or two, and then a slash, and then one or one or two, and then a slash, and then we want four more digits. Try again. And now it works. See we have all these dates from this file, and if we were doing this in um, Python or any other scripting language, now we'd have access to every date in that file, and really, that wasn't that hard. You know, we just said exactly what we wanted, and it gave us exactly what we wanted. And that's um, another look at regular expressions, and we'll keep building on this, and we'll add more and more things to it, and eventually you'll be able to do things like um, make up a pattern that matches an email address, and they'll be able to do it on the fly. So, um, just to kind of recap, we learned about um, the digit. This matches one single digit, and we learned about the, I'm not sure the, what it's called, but we tell it how many we want to match exactly. So we could say we want to match one, we could say we want to match a hundred, or we could say we want to match somewhere between fifty and a hundred, right? All right. Well, uh, keep watching these videos. There'll be more soon. And uh, if you haven't watched the first one, please do. That's all. This is Frankie from AboutScript.com.